Hey guys, Pam McCoy here, and today I wanted to come to you and talk to you about the reticular activating system, how it functions, what it is, uh, what its purpose is, and how you can use it to help you to get better or um, accomplish whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. For me, I'm in the Make Money From Home niche, and um, so I can use this information to help me to make more money from home and I can give you that information and those resources as well. But I also want to tell, you know, if, it, if that's not what you're watching this for, I want to give you information on how you can use this to, um, you know, if it's quitting smoking, losing weight, whatever it is, uh, I want you to understand how it works and how you can use it to your benefit to improve your life. Okay? So first off, what the heck is the reticular activating system? Well, it's kind of like a, a mail sorter. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I get a truckload of mail. Um, so you've got a stack of mail on the table. You start sorting through it, and you're like, keep, chunk, 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 keep, keep, chunk, chunk, chunk. Okay. Um, well, that's kind of what your reticular activating system does. At any given time, you're taking in millions of bits of information, okay? So right now, you're watching me. If, if, if you actually have your eyes on me right now, you're listening to my voice. You're not paying attention to how the floor feels under your feet until it's brought to your attention. You're not paying attention to how the couch or that chair feels under your leg. Um, you're not paying attention to how that shirt feels on your back. You're not paying attention to um, whatever you're seeing out of your peripheral vision. You can see things, but you weren't aware of them until it's brought to your attention. Uh, you weren't noticing the TV, dog, bird, um, whatever noise that there may be, music there may be in the background until it's brought to your attention, until you're, you're made consciously aware of it, okay? So, <clears throat> your reticular activating system is taking in, it's taking in all this, you know, your body, through your, all your senses are taking in all this information at any given time, and whatever it is that you're seeking, whatever it is that you believe, whatever it is that um, you not necessarily desire, whatever it is that you're focusing on, your reticular activating system is going to pick those pieces, those bits of information, out of the millions of bits of information that you're taking in on any given day. It's going to pick out the ones that support whatever it is that you're fo focusing on, whatever it is that you believe. So, for instance, if you believe that you're bad at math, um, your reticular activating system is going to bring to your attention the things that prove to you that, yep, you're right, you sure are bad at math. Um, you're totally ignoring anything that is contrary to that belief. So, for example, you know, you may be great at adding up, you know, uh, large sums of numbers at once, um, <clears throat> quickly and easily in your head. Well, it's not going to pay attention to that. Um, what your reticular activating system is going to pay attention to is, look at the poor grade I made on that test. Look, I wasn't even able to add those numbers up in my head. You know, completely ignoring the fact that you were great at uh, multiplying large numbers or you're great at adding up those large sums of numbers, large, you know, list of numbers, or you're great at measurements or whatever, it's going to completely ignore that because you don't believe that you're good at it. You believe that you're bad at it and that it's hard. So that's, <clears throat> excuse me, so that's the information that it's going to pick out and show to you um, that, yep, see this, see this little bit of information right here? Yeah, you're right. You are bad at math. Um, or maybe you have struggled to lose weight. Uh, you believe, you feel like it's hard and that you're unable to do it. So rather than um, paying attention to and focusing on the fact that you ate uh, a great lunch, a great healthy lunch, that you have doubled your water intake, that you didn't snack last night after 7 o'clock like you normally would, um, it's going to completely ignore those bits of information. It's going to pick out the fact that 
Yeah, you may have eaten a good lunch, but you followed it by a real whopping big dessert. See there, it's hard to lose weight. You're never going to be able to give this up. Um, so that's, that's how it works. The opposite of that is, you know, and I've, I know I've had this happen in my life. You've probably had it happen in your life as well, where, um, say you're in a, you know, a, a bad relationship, a difficult relationship, or, <clears throat> or perhaps, um, you decided to quit smoking, um, and, and you, you changed that belief in an instant, okay, so, before, maybe you thought, I, you know, I, I just don't know if I can give, give him up, or give this person up, I just, I can't, I don't, you know, I've tried to quit smoking, but I just can't quit, okay, so, before, your, your reticular activating system was picking out bits of information that support that, Yep, you're not going to be able to leave this person. Or, yep, it's hard for you to um, to quit smoking. Everything that you see around you, it's it's hard. Um, well, you can flip that switch like that, okay? And here's where I've had instances of that this happening in my own life is you made a decision, finally, for whatever reason, something you've struggled with that you've had a hard time with, and all of a sudden, in an instant, boom, okay, that's it. <clears throat> I'm fed up with this. I'm not going to do it anymore. And that was it. That was it. You were over it. That relationship, so over it, done. And your reticular activating system will now pick out bits of information, like in, in hindsight, in your memory, or perhaps in, still in, you know, what's happening currently in your current situation. It's going to pick out those bits of information that support your new belief you know now from your memory banks you're going to remember you know he he always talked to me like he always talked down to me or he was always disrespectful to me or you know I used to see her paying attention to men all the time uh, looking at other men but I just didn't didn't pay attention to it and now you're seeing it now in hindsight in your memory you're looking back and you can you can pick out those little bits of information that support your new belief. Um, here's a, a another example of how this works. Let's say that you have uh, decided you're going to get a new car, and after um, looking and and um, looking at at you know consumer report information or whatever, and um, I thought my children were there. <laughs> um, after looking at, you know, going car shopping, you've narrowed it down and you've decided to buy um, a, a Toyota Celica. Okay. I don't even know if they make Celicas anymore. Okay, let's use another example. <laughs> um, you've decided to buy a Lexus SUV. All right. So before you were car shopping, you didn't pay attention to Lexus SUVs on the road. The, the vehicles on the road that we normally pay attention to are... Um, you know, odd, odd um, vehicles, ones that, that aren't the norm, that we don't normally see on the road, like a Lamborghini or a Bentley, uh, a Ferrari, things like that. Um, or you may notice, um, you know, the vehicles of loved ones, like, for instance, my husband drives a white Chevy pickup truck. So I'm much more apt to pay attention to a white Chevy pickup truck on the road than I am a, a green Chevy truck or a blue Chevy truck. Um, now, that doesn't mean that you're going to do that all the time. You know, there's plenty of times when, you know, we'll pass each other on the road to our house and I get a, I don't know it, and I'll get a phone call and he'll say, you didn't even see me, did you? Nope. Because <laughs> out of all those millions of bits of information coming in, that's not one that I paid attention to right there. That's not one that my that my reticular activating system picked out and brought to my conscious awareness at that time. Okay. Well, so you've decided on this Lexus SUV. Before you started car shopping, you know, yesterday, two months ago, whenever it was, you didn't notice them. Well, now, now that you've decided uh, that that's the vehicle that you're going to purchase, you're focused on that. You're, so you're going to pay attention whether you intend to or not. Now you're going to see those vehicles everywhere, everywhere you look. They're in the school parking lot. They're in the, the mall parking lot. You, you pass one on the way to, to work. 
uh, or you pass three of them when before you never noticed them. Okay, so that's how how kind of that that works. That's like a, a break a, a short short little breakdown of what it is and how it works. Now to get to the good stuff, how can you use this to your advantage um, and to change whatever it is that you want to change in your life? Well, you can do this, um, you know, like I said earlier, it can be done in an instant, boom. It's not always easy unless you get to that point where you are, you know, when you're at that point of, okay, that's it. I'm up to here and I'm fed up. We've got to change now. Um, you, you can get to that point in an instant or you may, you know, need to do it in a, in a slower, more subtler fashion. Um, and you can do that by surrounding yourself with like-minded people, by consciously bringing into your life and into your awareness the information that's going to assist you in getting where you want to go. Um, as an example, a uh, great example is Weight Watchers. You know, Weight Watchers is a, uh, a group that, um, that helps people lose weight, right? Okay. Well, they have support meetings where you can go and show up and you're surrounded by like-minded people. You're surrounded by people who have either been through this process or they're going through it now and they're going to lift you up and they're going to cheer you on and they're going to give you the, the kudos and the belief that you may not have in yourself. They're going to say, yes, you can do it. Look at all the great things you did this week. You even wrote them down in, you know, in, on paper um, in your journal. Uh, yeah, you're, you're capable of doing this. Look at all the things, the great things that you've done this week. Um, there's the information that they provide online. Um, so there's all this, this visual um, information. There's the, the you know, hearing auditory information, be it through um, those kudos that you're getting, the recognition that you're getting for doing the right thing, for the things that you do that are helping you to get towards your goal. Um, so the way that's 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 one instance that you can use this in. Another another instance is um, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous or um, Narcotics Anonymous. Um, you know, there you're surrounding yourself when you go to these meetings. You're surrounding yourself with like-minded people who have been where you are, are where you are, are wanting to go where you're wanting to go, um, and they, you know, that helps you along that journey until you get to the point where you can believe in yourself. You can believe that, okay, yep, I can do it. I can do it. I've been told I can do it. I see the great things that I've done. I see how I can kick this. Let's do it. Let's get on, you know, let's get on with it and, and be done with it. Okay, so those are some examples of ways that you can, uh, that this is, is used, you know, in, in common everyday life. All right, so in my particular instance in the Make Money From Home niche, the company that I'm in, I'm, I'm with Empower Network, well, I'm surrounding myself at, at any point in time through phone calls, webinars, hangouts, um, you know, Google Hangouts, um, um, what do you call those things? Um, <laughs> I'm paying attention to these bumblebees that are flying around and lost my train of thought. Um, through listening to audios of, of like-minded people. People who are where I want to go. People have uh, who are where I am, but they know where they want to go. They're traveling the same road that I'm traveling. Okay, so this is how I am using this to propel me forward to get to the next level, take my business to the next level. So if you're trying to make money from home, um, this is a way that you can help propel yourself to get to the, the income level that you desire. Um, surround yourself with like-minded people. Listen, take in information every day, constantly, that is going to support whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. You know, that you've heard the saying, garbage in, garbage out. Well, the reverse is true, too. You take good stuff in, and eventually that good stuff's going to start coming out one way or another through your, your patterns of speech, through your actions, uh, and, and eventually it's going to come out in what's happening in your life and in turning around whatever it is that you're looking to turn around in your life.
So if you're looking to make money from home, you're looking to get the best information that you can to support you along the way, click that link below. Join us. Join our, our company, our community. Uh, more importantly, more special to me, is joining our team. We are constantly surrounding ourselves with uh, positive, uplifting, informational um, uh, people who who are we're all helping. We're all going in the same direction, so we're all helping each other, giving each other great information and kudos and slaps on the back and or should say pats on the back. Or slaps on the back, whatever, um, <laughs> to to propel you to get to the next level. That's what we have available here. It's what you need to help you get to the next level in your business. Click that link below. Join us, and I'll see you on the inside. Thanks for listening. Bye.